It's it's the same it's the same bullshit. I mean, it's it's hiding behind Al Heyman. That's the bottom line. That is the bottom line. You know, I'm asking these fighters, hey, if you really want to fight, then don't don't stop saying that you oh talk to my promoter, my manager. No, you have the voice, the power to make the fight happen. Ryan Garcia wants to fight Tank Davis. Jaime wants to fight Charlo. We want to go after the very best. That's the bottom line. I was supposed to ask you, what do we expect from Golden Boy for us in 2022? Uh, I think we know you want to make the best fights. Yeah, look, we're we're excited with uh, with uh, with the upcoming fight of uh, uh, Virgil Ortiz, and then uh, we have uh, we have Surdo Ramirez who's knocking on uh, Bivol's door. He's the mandatory for uh, for Bivol. So a lot of great things uh, happening uh, uh, in the uh, third quarter and, and last quarter of this year. And, uh, you know, I can't thank uh, the zone enough. And it doesn't go on until we get through Saturday, right? Because he's got to get past Kelly. Uh, there's, there's no guarantee. There's no, this is a fight. And, uh, you know, when, when, when you're traveling thousands of miles across the pond um, and getting an opportunity against Mungia and you're ranked in the top five of the world, I mean, it's, it's, uh, this, is, this, is a serious, uh, this is a serious task. They know it and, uh, and we know it. Mungia knows it. He's prepared. Uh, he's prepared to uh, to go into a war for twelve rounds. He's trained in Big Bear. He bought a home in Big Bear, and now he's uh, he's uh, he's now taking uh, taking his uh, career to a uh, to a different level because he knows what's coming. If he gets past Saturday night. Saturday night, live on the zone, the Golden Boy, the president of Golden Boy, Oscar De La Hoya. Thank you. <laughs> Thank all you. fired up. I love that. <laughs> Thank you. Man. You guys got all that right there? I'll get you some clicks, right? Are you good? You good, TV Book Sale? <laughs>